Hey developers, today we're looking at a new Udemy course called 50 Projects in 50 Days. Wait for it, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So this course is by my friends Florin and Brad. You may know them, they have pretty big YouTube channels, but this is a really cool course because it has 50 different projects. It is straight JavaScript, so you're not looking at learning any frameworks, and it has good CSS and HTML, and they're just like fun little projects that you can learn and uh, know. And actually, if you're looking for a job, this may not be a bad way to go too, because I've seen more and more jobs jobs give uh, tests and some of the tests are like, go ahead and create a modal, go ahead and create a small little app. And if you do a project like this or take this course, you'll be able to rattle those off pretty easily because you've taken this and you've seen these before. These are also just really common things that you see in your day-to-day -day job. I've had to create a lot of these things and a little parts of these in each one of these projects. So I'm happy to share this course with you guys. And as always, uh, if you're listening right now and you wanna purchase it, I put a link in the description below. It's an affiliate link, so I get a few bucks and so do they. So, you know, click on that before you check it out. There's always sales going on with, with Udemy. They're doing sales all month long. So make sure you get this and check it out. So I'm gonna go over uh, what this course is about, some of the projects you might see, and uh, you talk a little bit about it. So you can see here, it's really geared towards people who wanna sharpen their HTML, CSS, and JavaScript skills. I'll make this a little bigger, I guess. They're using modern Flexbox, grid, custom properties, animations in it. It's over 18 hours of content. So this isn't small. This is a pretty hefty size uh, course. And uh, you get, obviously, every time you buy a U Udemy course, you get lifetime access to it. You can see here, uh, there's 51 sections, 102, 162 lectures. You can see here, expanding cards, progress steps, and lots of information here. Here's, a, here's the different apps that you, that you get. So let's go to the course and take a look. I've been kind of kind of jumping around and taking a look at it. So obviously, like all of Udemy courses, Brad does a great job, and Florin, because I know they both worked on this together, of introducing the topics and how you work through it. So that's first the first section, you know, how you set up the environment, what to expect in the course. You should expect a way to sharpen your HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Like I said, we're not looking at any JavaScript frameworks. It's just how do you, um, this is all about like just working with those uh, plain JavaScript, you're not going to be using any of those frameworks, as I said again. So the first project is this expanding cards, and I'll try to place some of this without getting a copyright strike, but you can see here on the right-hand side, you can see this is exactly what you're creating, this expanding cards, you click on these, they expand. So this is a, a nice little introduction to it, and you can see a lot of these sections are bite-sized, so you may be on day three, you may look at these progress steps, but there's only three videos for you to watch. So this is nice. So even if you're working at this uh, one every day, you don't have to spend hours and hours every day when in, every day when it comes up, because these are videos are very short and they're to the point and they make sense. And of course the source code is available too for it. So let's take a look at another one like blurry loading. Okay, so here's blurry loading. Um, there's this background here. He's gonna show you the code and how to kind of make this blurry load to it. There's a soundboard, dad jokes. You can't have any sort of projects without dad jokes. And you can see it's using fetch. So you can hear, here's kind of look, look what the, uh, what's gonna look like at the end. You can't have a course without a dad jokes app. I'm just saying, I mean, that's so important. I, as a father, appreciate the dad jokes and I like ones that use that app. Look, event.keycodes. So if you've never used key codes, Here's an app that does it, which is really nice. You know, it's really simple. You see event key, event key code, event code, press any key to get the key code. But I mean, that's good to know because eventually you may want to take user input and key codes and do something with it. Here's a drink water one. Yeah, you can see here it kind of looks like uh, this drink water. Ooh, I'm giving away a little bit of the code, but I don't think that matters too much. You can see here he's using modern JavaScript, using const, lets, uh, using for each loops. I mean, really modern code. We're not looking at old code here. Obviously it was just created and, and Brad and Florin know what they're doing. So that's really nice. Let's take a look at another one, uh, drag and drop, drag and drop events. And of course, since it's 50 projects in 50 days, you can mix and match this. Maybe if you find some of these beginning ones are too difficult, you can kind of go to some of the ones later on the course that you find more interesting. You can even jump around if you want. There's really no reason you have to go in this exact order. You see here, probably uh, you can just take these and drag them, drop them, like using HTML5, drag and drop. Yep, you can see your drag start, drag over. 
So that's really nice. This is a good refresher if you've never done that before or you haven't done it in a long time. Here's a sticky nav bar. You can see here at the end, like nice little home page here. You can see the, the top. I bet when he's scrolling down, it's stickied. Uh, I saw this too. Uh, one was called Netflix navigation. So you can see here, he you create basically the net the Netflix navigator. Here's the little hamburger menu. And as you click on it, it drops down with, with what you expect it with animation. So this is really nice. You can get all this CSS and code and, and figure out how to do this. One thing I did when I was learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is I would go and take a look at pages that I thought were really cool and I would try to reproduce them or I'd reproduce parts of it. Like I'd take the Google homepage and see if I can recreate that, which seems very easy at first, but when you're trying to get it perfect line and you're not really sure how what to do, it's a good way to learn. So this is nice. It's a little little uh, Netflix app. There's actually two parts to it too. Oh, no, that's just 6 and 46 has a couple parts to it. Random image feed and you can't do, just like dad jokes, you can't do learning apps without doing a to-do app. So of course there is a to-do app using local storage. And you can see here, this is, it looks like uh, just a really simple to-do app, which is nice. You could do it, you know, within, you know, using JavaScript and local storage and grab data out of it. So yeah, those are the 50 different ones in here. Maybe I'll take a look at one more rotating navigation. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, look at this. So I'm going to play a second of this code. Looks like you can actually have it rotated off the screen and have different nice little animations when you click th things. I mean, this is something I'd be interested in learning. When you're learning uh, JavaScript and animations, I, I think what I'm trying to say is I think animations takes a different mindset to learn when you're learning CSS. I mean, it's easy to learn padding and the box model and how to use flex and grid, but then when you kind of get into advanced animations, it's like, whoa, I can do so many things with this and having a good refresher like this would, would be nice. I still uh, am myself not very good at animations. I always have to look it up anytime I'm trying to do it, and I always takes me a little bit of time to, to get it to look nice. Luckily, I always think on animations, I'm going on a little bit of a tangent here, but for those of you who are still listening, I really appreciate you guys listening all the way to this point. You know, I think just a little bit of animation is nice on your pages, but too much just becomes overwhelming. So just a, a little bit of animation makes it, adds a little bit of, uh, finesse uh, a little way to to make it look stand out make it look a little better and but too much animation i mean you're going back in the flash days where everything is flashing at you and and wanting you to do things and that's a pretty terrible user experience okay well, well you know what i i kind of want to talk for one more minute here so here is another one and this one is called is this the drink water one yeah so here's the drink water one here is the animated navigation. So you can see here's an animated navigation here. Once again, using some transforms, some animation, um, really cool to take a look at. I think that's, I think that's it. So I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think of this, of this project of this course? Are you guys going to pick it up? If so, leave a comment below. Let me know if I get enough comments. Let's say if I get over, if this video gets over 5,000 views and over, I don't know, let's say 100 comments, I will give away two copies of this course to two lucky people. So make sure you share this course with other people, uh, this video with other people. And uh, I will, if I, this video gets over 5,000 views and over 100 likes, or excuse me, over 100 comments, I will go ahead and give away two courses. So yeah, leave a comment, share this video with other people. I appreciate it. Thanks.